Today we bring you 10 of our best short jokes of the week, one after another. In our first joke, we bring you a burglar in the middle of the night. This guy went to bed early one evening. He was very tired from a long day at work. Somewhere around midnight, he woke up, a voice whispering in his ear. Honey, someone is in the house. I think we have a breaking. This is the worst way to wake up at night. The guy jumped out of bed and without putting the light on, grabbed his baseball bat and head for the stairs. Without making a noise, he quietly walks from room to room while switching on every light behind him. He is ready to defend his family with his baseball bat and are building confidence as he gets more rooms liberated. Once all the rooms have been declared safe, he stands there thinking, what noise it could have been. And then it hit him. He is a bachelor and don't have a wife. Who gave him the message? He rushed up the stairs to find his bedroom empty. They stole everything. <laughs> In our next joke, we bring you a very wealthy man that have a final request before he dies. This request goes to the priest, a doctor, and a lawyer. A wealthy man on his deathbed and calls his lawyer, doctor, and the priest. He tells them each will receive money to put in his coffin before they bury him. So each of them promised. So the wealthy man passed away and they buried him. After the burial, the three were at a family gathering and find some privacy to discuss the last request of the wealthy man. The doctor said, I couldn't put it in. The hospital needs a new children ward. I donated it to the hospital. The priest replied, Don't feel bad. I donated the money to the children's home. The children have so much need. The lawyer looked at them and said, You must be ashamed of yourself. I was the only honest one among us. You did put the money in? The priest said, I did not see anything in the coffin before closing it. The lawyer looked at them and said, I put a check in his suit pocket. <laughs> in the following joke, we have a drunk guy in the middle of the night that needs a push. This couple woke up one night with a loud knock on their door. The husband got out of bed, went to the front door to see who it was. It was a drunken guy, standing in the rain asking the husband if he cannot please help him with a push. The husband said, no, go away and close the door. Once back in bed, his wife asked who it was and got very angry with her husband not giving the guy a hand. She said, Do you remember when your car broke down a couple of months ago and two guys helped you with a push? I am very disappointed in you. The husband felt very guilty, put on his rain jacket, and went to go and look for the guy. Once outside in the dark, he shouted, Do you still need a push? Yes, the guy shouted back. There, the drunken guy was sitting on a swing, waiting for the husband to push him. <laughs> in our next joke, we bring you an old man with a weird limp in his step. Two doctors were walking down the street back to the hospital when they saw an old man walking towards them with a strange limp, and then his walk straightened up again. They decide to challenge each other and see if they can figure out what is wrong with the old man. The one doctor stops the old man and said, my friend and I are doctors at the nearby hospital, and we saw your limp, and now we are trying to guess what is wrong with you. Would you mind following us to the hospital so we can examine you? The old man agrees. At the hospital, the one doctor said, I think it's lumbago, but my colleague says it's probably arthritis. Do you have any illness that we should know about? Can you enlighten us on any current medical condition? Well says the old man with a smile on his face. Both off you are wrong. I am healthy. It was only some gas. <laughs> In our next joke, we have a man pleading with his rabbi because he would like to live forever. This man went to see the rabbi of his church. Rabbi, I don't want to die. I would like to live forever. However, my doctor said that it's not possible, and I thought that you might have a solution for me. The rabbi, after listening to the man's plea, asked whether the man was married. No, said the man, never got around to getting married, but if I know that I will live forever, I might just give it a go. The rabbi said that he would propose the man gets married. Why, ask the man, will this bring me eternal life? Will it fulfill my desire to live forever? 
because married men all die. The rabbi with a smile on his face looks at the man and says, when you get married, you will not live forever, unfortunately. However, the desire to live forever will disappear. <laughs> in the following joke, we have a single man in a restaurant who would like to pick up a beautiful lady. John decided to go to this fancy restaurant. As he hasn't been with a woman for many years, he was in the habit of looking for any opportunity to meet a lovely lady. He sat down at his table, ordered a drink, and then his eye caught this beautiful woman standing at the bar looking at him. This gorgeous woman came up to him with a big smile on her face and asked if John was single. John's heart started beating fast and his stomach felt like butterflies. He looks into this gorgeous woman's eyes, thinking he won the jackpot at Vegas. He put on his best smile and said, hell yeah, I'm single. She looks at John with those beautiful eyes, bend down towards him and asks, Will it be okay for you, since you are single, that I borrow this chair for my husband over there? Sorry, John. Better luck next time. <laughs> In our next joke, we have a guy that is very thirsty and urgently need to use the vending machine. This man was driving down the street looking for a vending machine to buy a soft drink, as he was in quite a hurry. He finally spots a machine and pulls over. He gets out his truck and walks to the machine and waits patiently as a beautiful blonde is using the vending machine. The blonde puts 50 cent in the slot, presses the button, and a drink pops out. She inserts another 50 cent in the machine, presses the button, and another drink pops out. The blonde with a big smile on her face does this several times. The man, being in a bit of a hurry, says to the blonde, Excuse me, ma'am, may I use this machine? I am very thirsty and in a bit of a hurry. The blonde with a smile on her face looks at the man and spoke. Are you crazy? Can't you see that I'm busy winning? <laughs> Our next joke is about a blonde that visits a hairdresser. This blonde goes to a hair salon to have her hair done. The blonde, however, has headphones on while sitting in the hairdressing chair. The hairstylist tells the blonde that she needs to take the headphones off so that she can cut her hair. The blonde refused and said that she will die if she takes the headphones off. The hairstylist attempts to do the hair with the headphones on. Having difficulty, the hairstylist again tells the blonde that she needs to take the headphones off. The blonde again said that she will die if she takes the headphones off. At this point, the hairstylist had enough of the blonde and yanked the headphones off. The blonde falls to the ground and just lay there unconscious. The hairstylist bends over and put the headphones to her ear. She listens to the voice on the headphones saying, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Our second last joke of the day is about this very unpopular farmer. This farmer was the most unpopular guy in the area. This is because he always treated everyone around him very badly. People were just happy if they never had to set eyes upon him again. He was, however, the wealthiest man in the area and lack for nothing. When his 50th birthday came up, he decided to have a birthday party, like the world has never seen before. Knowing that people don't like him, he sends out an all-inclusive birthday party invitation for a weekend. Transportation, accommodation, food and all the drinks will be on the house for this event. As it turns out, no one pitched for the party. Two weeks later, his phone rang. I am just calling about the party you have sent invites to. The farmer screamed. It was two weeks ago, are you mad? The guy on the other end of the line said, I was just calling to say that I won't be able to make it. <laughs> in our last joke of the day, we bring you a drunken guy in a grocery store. After the joke, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. This way you will get notified when our new joke compilations are available. Thanks for watching. Here goes. This woman was busy doing some grocery shopping and was packing out her shopping basket at the teller when this drunken dude behind her looks over her shoulder. 
He looks in detail at everything she unpacks. In the basket was one kilogram of sugar, 300 grams of cheddar cheese, four tomatoes, one cucumber, and one head of lettuce. He said in a slurry, drunken voice, you are single, aren't you? The woman bluntly ignores the drunken man, but being drunk, he continues, just acknowledge it, you are single, aren't you? Angrily, she turns to the drunken guy and said, now what do the stuff that I am buying got to do with whether I am single or not? The drunken guy, barely able to stand on his feet, said in his slurry voice, nothing you are, single because you are ugly. <laughs>